Hello everyone, um, this is the second video that I'm making and I decided to do an unboxing uh, for one of my birthday presents. I received a Molden and really this unboxing is more about Coleman's service rather than the Molden itself. Uh, it's just because over the birthday period I received uh, Filofax is both from the Filofax website directly and from Coleman's and I think for this video I'll start with Coleman's and then for the next video I'll basically compare the service received between um, one and uh, the other. So let's do a sort of a two-in-one. So I wanted to show the envelope as it arrived from Coleman's. So it says Thank you for your purchase. It's very nice and sturdy envelope. Um, it arrived intact. And I did take this out of the box already, but I just wanted to sort of uh, box it back up and just show it as it arrived. Uh, so, Final Fox has now come in this type of um, sort of thin boxes. Um, it's all made in China now, but there you go. Kingfisher Blue Molden in personal. I think is it only the originals that are made in the UK uh, these days? I think it's all about saving money these days. These boxes, Filofax, they got them right. They're doing these boxes. These boxes. Um, they're beautiful. I love the design, uh, the sturdiness. Um, you can then find various uses for them, but I like that the leather planners, they come in these boxes, so it's just that extra level of um, care for the product. So, there you go. So far, so good, Coleman's. This was a nice surprise, thank you for your purchase, and they warn you about the correct way uh, of uh, opening the ring mechanisms, which is from the tabs at the top and at the bottom, and not by the rings themselves. Don't pull those apart. Nice touch. Okay, and there it is, the beauty. Okay, let's take it out of the packaging. That's the receipt there. Yeah. So, let's take this out. So, what I liked, first of all, the sturdiness of the envelope used for postage. It arrived intact. It's basically a scratch on that envelope, on that uh, outer envelope. So, that's one point in favor for Coleman's. Well done. What do they also do? Um, Okay, let's just appreciate the beauty of this <laughs> for now. So, what did they also do? Two of these protective. Um, is this sort of felt? Not quite sure. So, they put two of these, and then you get this um, cardboard here on the side. So, we got one just to keep it in shape while it's uh, in transit, I think. And also, there was another one right here. So all in all, well done, Coleman's. I think um, the care was great. Um, there was no issues with the rings whatsoever. Um, I think this was inspected before being sent to me. And that's one of the things um, that Filofax has um, as a negative, even though all their receipts come sort of signed with a name or a signature by the person who's supposed to check the product before they put in the post for you. My last three Filofax ordered, I've had an issue with every single one of them. So I've sort of given up on Filofax, so um, that's why I want to put in a good word for Coleman's. Well done. Um, so far, so good. Every single touch, uh, it was appreciated. Okay, so let's go to the Molden itself. All right, this is uh, not daylight, so the color will differ from natural daylight, but it's um, it's sort of more um, 
aqua at the moment rather than kingfisher blue that's how it's picking it up but the leather on this was to die for i couldn't believe how, how buttery soft this was it was just amazing when i received it i couldn't put it down so molden itself okay wrong way around so it is antique leather this is calf leather still as far as i'm aware <clears throat> I'm sorry, I was about to sneeze. Okay, one thing I noticed, both from Coleman's and Filofax, is that those fly leaves are not being sent to you anymore with, even if it's a leather Filofax. There's no fly leaf at the top. There's no fly leaf at the bottom. Uh, so, I think I received, let's say, the other Filofaxes that I bought recently, they're older models. But this one that I just bought and another one which was a indigo croc. It did not have um, fly leaves either, so uh, even though they're leather filofax, and the croc is more than a hundred pounds, so that's, that's I mean, how, how expensive is a bloody fly leaf? Um, right, so there you go, more cutting corners, I guess. Um, they don't include that with their filofaxes anymore. Um, Right, so molden, 23 millimeter rings. The rings were in perfect condition, as I said. I think whoever in inspected this Filofax before they put it in the post, they did a great job. Thank you very much, Coleman's. Um, again, the smell, as I said, I couldn't put it down. The leather is to die for. So, like, I think the camera is picking up. You know, the buttery softness of it is just—it's just luscious. Um, smells great. It's just beautiful level. Look at that, every single details. I love it. It's it, it doesn't really weigh that much. Like I think one of the uh, surprises I've had with all the moldens, I bought an i5 previously as well, is how small they actually are. I think in many pictures online, they're all so stuffed, whether personal or a5 size, and they all look so heavy and huge. I think when one actually arrives in the post and you're actually holding it in your hand, it's quite surprising for me. I was very surprised to see how um, light and small they actually were. Uh, stitching is beautiful, contrasting stitching. Uh, it's There's no uh, issues or defects there, really. There you go. Uh, the popper, I love the molten popper. I think it's one of the best. I think more Filofax should be made with this metal popper. It's just amazing. I love it. Uh, so it's a nice detail that um, I like about the models as well, the, the moldens. Uh, does it open flat? Yes, it does. Uh, wherever you open it, straight out of the box, it's okay. I think there's a bit of um, training to be done here. But that's fine. It just opens flat even if you have to press on it in the beginning and then with time it just gets trained um, right the pen loop it's leather at the top and leather at the bottom for some reason I thought it was uh, elastic but not it's all leather so here's my favorite pen that I use at work everywhere every day I've been using this for many many years now so it's a big superb no it's not a big sorry it's a pentel superb uh, and it goes in perfectly right no issues there right stiffener I'm not quite sure I think you do feel it it's sort of crinkly uh, straight out of the box you do hear it but that goes away. Uh, I've had this for what? I think about less than a week now. And on the first day, it did sound quite crinkly. This sort of, it's like a thin chiffon type material. You can see it's um, sort of. Um, it's not too flat. It's it's very thin and crinkly, so you can hear it probably. I hope the cover is picking that up. So it was a bit quite louder, I think, in the first couple of days, but this goes away with time. I think just as you break the leather and use it more, I think that material sort of um, 
uh, also gets probably with use it will get just thinner and deteriorate and just it's a very thin piece of material uh, but let's just look at that beauty it's amazing it's such a beautiful file fax okay there you go look at that it's just picking up it just looks so battery soft just from the camera uh, it's yep I get all the molden uh, not craziness but obsession yep yeah, molden obsession I get it now the previous A5 that I bought it was also Kingfisher blue but it wasn't as battery soft it's more that crinkly leather this one is just smooth so I think this is one of my best, well, it's not a purchase, it was a present, but one of my best Filofax choices so far. Right, pockets, I think, I'm not going into too much detail, I think um, there's plenty of molden reviews on YouTube, so uh, two card pockets here, two larger pockets here, and are they, no, no, sorry, they're the same length. So four card pockets. Then a full length pocket it goes all the way there. This I know that it's a very popular option to put some coins here and use this as a wallet. And then your top loading for a notebook and another full length pocket. Right, stuffability, we know this this one of the most stuffable filofaxes. I'm not one of those people who like to stuff their filofaxes. The less papers I have, the more compact my planner, the more in control I feel of <laughs> my tasks and to-dos and I don't feel overwhelmed. I, I would hate a stuffed filofax, even putting too many papers around in the pockets. I don't like that because that simply signals to me that there's still stuff to do, still papers that I need to sort. Um, so I don't like to do that either so uh, I've been a compact user for the past three or four years really I prefer the compact but getting a chance of owning a, per a personal molden why not it's just a beauty okay again let's look at the rings please focus there you go perfect rings no issues whatsoever no issues, absolutely none. Beautiful. The strap, I love the strap. I love the shape of it. I think with time, this sort of sort of um, gets different shades. It gets yellowish, <laughs> if I can say that. Just I think from being handled so many times, more than sort of the rest of the leather. Uh, so I fully expect this to discolorate more than the rest of the file of Um the zip uh, the zip is standard quality it's nothing special I think given the price of the molden the zip could have more of a high standards high quality to it but it's just your there's nothing special it doesn't feel too you know that the zips that you feel the quality straight away they just feel so buttery when you just go through it um, this one is just your standard quality zip. Oh my god, I can't get enough of this file of hugs. Right, um, the style in general, I, it's, it's no surprise that the Moldens are so popular. Uh, it's professional, it's classic, it's womanly, it's manly, it's um, whatever you want it to be really. Uh, academic, personal, uh, professional, wallet. It just suits every single environment. It's just a beautiful Filofax, and you can see why it's so popular. It's just a classic beauty. Right, I think that'll be it. Uh, really, it was just to sing the praises of the Molden and then just sing the praises of Coleman's. I love the service. Thank you very much. It was um, amazing of you to include really two protectors two of these cardboards in the pockets just to keep it in shape so that it doesn't sort of uh, deform while in transit in the post. So thank you very much Coleman's, well done. Better than Filofax is doing at the moment with their customer service, so thank you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this review. Oh, what a beauty again, I just can't.
<laughs> right, okay. Bye-bye until the next video.